looking at the new Orca uh, battery generation 3 for 2017 the high voltage LCG generation 3 6300 milliamp hour 7.6 volt 110 C um, it's in the same uh, class as batteries I've already uh, tested such as the Aramax 52 and the IP 6000 HV2 and the uh, Nosram 6400 HV all uh, new batteries for 2017 so I'll just run through all the tests identically to how I've done the others and just get the results and see uh, how it performs um, battery looks like this it's black with this nice black and silver wrap on it with information all over it um, generation 3 6300 it's got um, plus and minus all the way through with these latest uh, plastic plugs all the manufacturers put on in on the side you're not using so you can have it either way around and this has um, a little flap as well that covers the balance port there's some information written on here in very small writing um, I can't see the recommended charge rate um, whether it's 1, 2 or 3C charge rate but I'll charge it at um, 10 amps normally for do the test same as all the other batteries I do it's got the part number OBH363R2 fully charged the uh, it's just finished charging it's got um, on the eye charger it was at 10 amp charge rate as uh, got 2 milliohms per cell uh, it's just dropped back slightly the voltage and uh, to show how accurate uh, that is set here is um, a calibrated uh, voltmeter 8.391 that's connected to the to the battery here enough 8391 so we're going to put that onto this uh, onto the discharger now and just measure the um, the voltages under discharge load exactly the same as I uh, did with all the other batteries where I've recorded all the results previously from um, Intellects, Aramax, Phantoms, uh, Orcas uh, is the one we're going to do and I'm going to write down the results uh, for, the, for the discharge uh, at the high current 40 amps as for 600 milliamps, 2 amp hour, 3 amp hour and I'll measure the uh, complete capacity as well here we go So it's 7.76 at first. No, just fell to 7.63. It's almost, I'm almost made it, but 7.63. So it doesn't quite hold the voltage the same as the others at 600 milliamps. Seven point five seven. At two ampere hours, it's uh, seven point three one. At three amp three ampere hours, it's seven point one eight. Coming to the end of discharge on the Orca battery, the voltage is beginning to drop now fairly quickly as it approaches 6.0 volts um, I'll take it off at 6 remember this is a 6300 milliamp hour battery so we'd expect it to approach at least 6000 but uh, it made the it made uh, 5828 And um, one reason why it's less than uh, it should be uh, specified, and also the time, let's just turn that off, it was uh, 12, 12 minutes it took to discharge, 
and uh, one reason why it's a bit less than uh, it would be normally be 6300 is it's um, a high voltage so it, if you charge it to 7 points um, 6 volts uh, nominal which would be um, 8.7 volts instead of 8.4 for the whole pack you would get extra capacity which I'm sure would get to 6300 I've put the Orca battery back on to charge only at 10 amp rate after discharging so it's actually um, uh, st uh, still warm 27.5 degrees and you can see that the internal resistance has gone down slightly uh, it's now showing 1.8 milliohms. Uh, when it was uh, at ambient temperature, it was 2.0 milliohms. So there's a slight increase, uh, decrease in the internal resistance. As the battery cooled down, the internal resistance went up slightly, and it's now gone back to uh, 2.2 stroke 21 so uh, it does vary slightly. It was measured at 2.0, 2.0 when I first charged this battery. And then it went down to 1.8 when it was hot. And if you turn to about 2.1, 2.2 milliamp milliohms. Now when it's fully charged and back to um, just about back to the ambient temperature, 20 degrees. By the way, it only took 5,554 milliamps to put it back in to uh, charge it up, whereas we took 5,828 out. Okay, the weight of the Orca is 200 and 274.7, so we call it 275. The results of the chart where I've done the the results previously on various batteries. Uh, this battery falls into this category here in the 270 gram range. I've tested the Intellect, Nosram, Aramax and now the Orca all fall into that. Um, the I, the, the C rating is varied from 110 for the Orca up to 130 for the Aramax. The cost in the UK varies wide, widely. Uh, the Intellect's £70 is the cheapest and the Orca's 90 is the most expensive. Now when I put uh, put it on discharge straight after charging to 8.4 volts, uh, 600 milliamps, which represents, um, and this is about 40 amp discharge, which represents the first couple of laps in the race, um, these three were about 7.7. .7. The orca was a slightly lower. I can retest, but after at um, at two amper hours, which represents getting towards the end of a 17.5 turn blinky race, it was 7.31, the same as the others. At three amper hour, it was 7.18, the same as those. The Nostrum did did hold up on that test slightly better. Capacity 5,800. Uh, just below the Nosram 6400, so it looks like it's um, possibly the same battery inside. Um, I've got some uh, milliohm tests on the eye charge, which I hadn't done on the others. It was 2.0, 2 2.0 on each cell on, on charge at uh, 10 amps charge rate. And I will do the a discharge rate again. By the way, the temperature... I didn't check it, but these, these cells never really get very hot. Normally in the 30 degree range, 32.6, which you would expect on all these uh, new batteries that are very low internal resistance. Um, so, it looks like it's uh, the same as all these others. I don't know whether all the manufacturers have got together and made the cells and just put them in different cases, but they all seem to test the same capacities very slightly the illusion on the Orca battery the LCG HV 6300 mAh generation 310 C discharge rating